Hey everyone, Spencer here from Geek of Spades and welcome to another unboxing video. Today we are unboxing more Robotech. This is the Spartan and Phalanx Destroids box set. Uh, one of the other boxes I ordered and the only other one aside from my Valkyries that has arrived at this point despite the fact that uh, my Zentradi command pod set was supposed to be part of the first wave and still hasn't shown up, Palladium. Anyway, much like the Valkyrie box, I thought we'd crack this bad boy open and take a look at what's inside. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. That seemed gratuitous. Alright, so much like the Valkyrie box, you get your little set of instructions here. Shows you how to build the Phalanx and then how to build the Spartan. Uh, the Spartan has a bunch of options, which is kind of cool. Bases! Your stat cards. Again, quite a few. And then, you know, the actual model itself. So, much like the Valkyrie set, I thought we'd start by taking a look at the uh, cards you get here. So, you get three cards for the UEDF and three cards for the Malcontents, which is kind of neat. You get quite a bit of stuff. So, your three UEDF, you get a Fire Support Squadron which you can't build with this box because you need two of the defenders, which I totally almost just called a Rifleman. Um, 60 points, bunch of upgrades there. You have the Close Quarters Destroyed Squadron, which is just four Spartans. Uh, again, can't build this with the box either, so you need to buy a second box to make this. Uh, likewise, 60 points, bunch of upgrades. Uh, this is how you get them, the, the gun pod and the, the batons, which is kind of cool. And lastly, you get the artillery destroyed squadron, which, again, you cannot build with this box. Um, and this is a problem. All three of the UEDF squads are completely unbuildable straight out of the box. That's kind of crap. Um, because, again, these are like $30, $35 per box, so enjoy buying multiple boxes. Although on the bright side, if you buy two boxes, you can run this, you can run both of these. With three boxes of Destroids, you can run all, well no, you can't run all three of them, but you can totally run these two. Yay. You also get some Malcontent Squadron cards, you get the Mixed Infantry Squadron, which is a, uh, oh man. Two Spartans, three Heavy Infantry, and six Light Infantry. So, kind of neat mix of guys there. And then again, a bunch of upgrades. Uh, 55 points for that. You have the Light Raider Squadron, which is six Battle Pods and two Spartans. Uh, 65 points, again, a bunch of upgrades. And this one is kind of weird to me, but... Again, it's the, I think it's the fact that you, the battle pods and Spartans, I, I would think you would want like power armor and Spartans, you know, stuff that can, that, that's reliable at close quarters, um, but you know, what do I know? And then you have the artillery support squadron, which is two phalanxes and two, uh, I believe those are the heavy artillery battle pods. Uh, and this is 80 points, only has the uh, the Phalanx Artillery Rocket upgrade. Um, yeah, not bad, not great. I kind of would have preferred the light artillery pods or the ones with the, the big cannons on their back, but again, whatever. You get your two stat cards, and then you get your upgrades. So for the UEDF, you can add two more Phalanxes. You can add two more Spartans, or you can upgrade one of them to a Command Destroid. Uh, and I think the the Tomahawk and uh, Defender, I keep wanting to call it a Rifleman, uh, I believe they come with this upgrade as well. Uh, and then for the Malcontents, you just get two of the same one, which kind of sucks. You get the uh, Support Destroid Squad, which is one Phalanx and one Defender. So, I'm kind of curious if the 
Tomahawk Defender box is going to come with this as well. Uh, and this is something I didn't bring up in my Valkyrie unboxing that I actually want to bring up here. Uh, these Malcontent cards, you know, they're UEDF, Ends, and Trotty. So if I say go and buy a box of Battle Pods, am I going to get this exact same card? Because that seems like such a waste. You know, I, I get that, you know, if I buy the Battle Pods, I might see this and go, oh, well, maybe I need to go buy some Spartans or vice versa, but... What am I going to do with two of these things? Uh, despite all my griping, though, I am really pleased that this comes with six different squadrons. Uh, that's really cool. That's that's a lot of stuff. That this gives this box alone, just in the squadron cards it comes with, gives you a lot of options for whether or not you want to build UEDF or Malcontent Force. You get quite a few things, which I actually really quite like. So moving on to actual sprues, this is the Phalanx. Um, not the, the most technically impressive <laughs> model. It's kind of a silly design, but uh, again, much like the the Valkyrie, you know, you got all the essential details here. It's got, I mean, it's got decent detail. The thing about Robotech is a lot of it is flat surfaces. So that should hopefully make these fairly easy for an absolute crap painter like myself to paint up. Um, and this doesn't look terrible in terms of uh, assembly. I've heard a lot of horror stories about this box. Um, so I'm a little, little worried about assembling these. I've heard that there's a lot of issues. Maybe not so much with the Phalanx, but with the Spartans, definitely. Um, but yeah, I mean, you get, you're, you get enough parts to build two, uh, two Spartans, and you get enough parts to build two uh, to the phalanxes, so you get you get four models in the kit, which isn't bad. Um, you got all their arms and their legs and their missiles, and uh, I like that they kept the uh, old M on the missile doors. I always thought that was kind of comical, even as a little kid. So yeah, there's the phalanxes, and here's the considerably smaller Spartan frame. Uh, again, all the necessary detail is there but i have heard nothing good about the assembly of these and again it's that ugly yellow color um i've heard these things are super fiddly to assemble and i'm really kind of worried about it uh the other thing i'm worried about is posability because there's the entire leg there is there is no no posing options here, and I, I don't like that. It comes with plenty of arms, but why can't I get some like running legs? Especially on this. On the Phalanx, I'm okay with it not having running legs, but on the Spartan, which is like their close combat brawler destroyed, uh, you know, give me some dynamic legs here, people. This, I don't feel like that's asking a whole lot. So, yeah, I... The model's nice, but there's just a couple of things, a few too many things about it that are just lacking and kind of frustrating. So there you have it, folks. That is the uh, Spartan and Phalanx Destroid box. Um, I'm a little torn on it because the Spartan is one of my favorite Destroid designs, but the whole you can't build a single squadron from one box pisses me off to no end because now if I want to use these and play a game I have to go out and spend another $30 to buy another box of these or I have to go out and spend $30 to buy a box of battle pods uh, I think the only one I'm going to be able to build without spending even more money is this one because I'm pretty sure I get artillery pods with the command pod set that I still haven't gotten for whatever stupid reason so I'm a little irked at that I love the amount of squadron options they give you. I love the upgrades they give you. Uh, but, yeah, the the nightmares I've heard about building these things, the lack of posability on the Spartan, the fact that you can't build a single squadron out of a single box, all of it is just, it's kind of frustrating. If you are going to play Robotech, um, yeah, they're good units to have. And if you're going to spend the money to do it, then, you know, totally pick up two boxes of these and uh, 
and have yourself a good time because these are pretty cool. Um, but yeah, if you're if you're tight for money, it's tough. It's really tough to recommend because it's like seventy dollars for a squadron of four models, and destroids aren't particularly unkillable, which it just it sucks. It really sucks that I have to go and buy another box of these to build even the most basic artillery squads. Uh, it it's a blower. And granted, if I buy another box, I can build two squadrons out of it. But I'm also going to have these exact same cards that are going to be useless. This is so much wasted print basically and it's wasted space in the box so cool kit has all the detail but it's really hard to recommend just due to uh, needing two of them to do anything so guys i hope you have enjoyed thanks so much for watching don't forget to check out the links below to follow us on facebook and on twitter also be sure to keep it here to our youtube channel for more unboxings as well as reviews and battle reports and let's plays and what have you and you know jeremy's uh little hobby updates he does every weekend so thanks for watching i will see you guys next time